So here are some quick and dirty facts on reverse racism. One, reverse racism does not exist. Two, reverse racism is not real. Three, no, seriously, it's not a thing. Things like BET, Black Girls Rock, or Black History Month are not reverse racist against white people. Because remember, in a society where white is seen as the default race, all history is white history. But racism isn't just someone feeling superior to another race and then discriminating against them. That's just the tip of a very messed up iceberg. Racism works on both an individual and societal level. Minorities have fewer opportunities to express prejudice against whites, and they lack the institutional power that protects them if they do. Let me reiterate, a black person expressing racial prejudice or backwards ideas about white people or any other race is not okay. But on a structural level, black prejudice does not affect the rights of white people. It doesn't affect the rate at which white people go to jail, experience police brutality, unemployment, poverty, or housing discrimination. Minorities deal with these realities at a much higher number. Someone with a white sounding name is 50% more likely to get a job call back than someone with an ethnic sounding name. Black people are more likely to be killed by police and twice as likely to be killed while unarmed. What's the reverse of that? If you think about it, reverse racism would actually be kind of great because it would mean that we lived in a society where all racial groups had equal power, but we don't. So do those who cry reverse racism when a show like Blackish premieres or when President Obama uses the N-word? Please, just stop.